auxiliary. Short, short. Hey Linux friends, what did we just witness together? Yes, it was the CS legend at play, having fun, jumping. Yep, on Linux, and not just any Linux, on Novara Linux 42. I know Linux gaming has been a hot topic ever since the Steam Deck came out, and I will give you my review, how it is to game on Linux. Is it yay, is it nay? Let's jump in and see what's what. As you can see, I'm running the KDE version of Nobara, and I've never been a big KDE user, but I have to admit, it is growing on me the more that I use it. Like I like the, the clipboard, I, I like all the settings that you have and all the options that you have. Hey, Gnome, <laughs> looking at you. And uh, being a long time Gnome user, using extensions to just get stuff done, I have to admit how this comes out of the package is really appealing to me right now. But I don't know how much you know about Nobara, but it's based on Fedora. It's not an official spin, it's its own unique thing, but it's by a Red Hat employee called Glorious Eggroll. I follow him on X, he seems like a super nice guy. And uh, I think the vision statement for, for Nobara, not that I wanna speak for them, but it's to add functionality out of the box that's kind of missing from Fedora. So like wine support for uh, dependencies in games, codecs, and OBS support and all that stuff. Just he sprinkles his magic on top and puts together this distro called Nobara and where things I think work kind of out of the box. So I shouldn't say that, but uh, that has been my experience. It works. Nobara 42 just came out. So let's quickly go over the change log. What's new? Don't click away because I'm going to do it quick. Oh, that is white. <laughs> that's coming from somebody that's Icelandic. Keep that in mind. So May 13, it's brand new. Um, Brave is now the default browser. Yes, amazing. Like, I like, because I already use Brave as my default. Here they go over why Brave and not something else. I don't wanna go into that. I'm kind of personally over the whole browser wars thing. Can we all just get along? I, uh, <laughs> I'm i waiting for Ladybird anyways. So Ladybird can fly to me. Um, check that project out, it, it's amazing. The Nobara package manager has been unpinned from the desktop and favorites. I've never used the Nobara, Nobara package manager because I'm a terminal beast of doom and destruction. Yay and nay. DNF sudo root, it's all my lingo. <laughs> it, is, it is still installed, but we don't want users, especially new users, messing with system packages as generally they're not familiar with some of the things they try to install. That makes sense. Package manager, let's take a look what it looks like. Okay, it looks good. Update system, well, we can do that from there. Packages, flat packs, so the flat packs that I have currently installed. So I wonder if you can search for something right there. Doom, doom, destruction. Okay, looks good. So it's still there, you can use it, but it's unpinned. So it's probably not the first thing that new users see and they start clickety away because they read something on Reddit that they should install. Plasma discovered no, sorry, a flat post. Okay, flat post is a new in-house developed one-stop shop for flat packs. Handle install, removal, upgrading, and permission. Okay. Flat post. I always just use flat pack in the terminal because that's how I roll. Uh, let's check this out. It's always nice to have a GUI counterpart, right? And popular. It's nice. Video trimmer. I need a fat trimmer. Uh, so, Telegram. This looks nice. So good, good stuff. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Nobara is officially rolling release now. Nice. I like that. I'm an Arch user, by the way. So I like rolling releases. But with that being said, 
uh, maybe a nostalgic point of view from the old guy screaming at clouds. I remember just like, oh, Fedora 26 is coming out in two months. I can't wait because it's going to ship with these packages. It was kind of like waiting for Christmas in a way <laughs> if you really wanted something new. So I'm, that's a nostalgic thing, but generally I like rolling releases. So with that being said, don't care about this. Um, Wayland and Doom, funny, because I just wrote Doom. Great minds think alike. Uh, we have an updated driver manager. Eh? The new driver manager allows you to easily choose swap between Vulcan drivers, GIT, JIT, Git. I used to go to GIT in Hollywood, so that's why I saw GIT and I saw GIT. Anyways, enough about me. Who am I? Um, easily choose and swap between open or closed versions of the NVIDIA driver. That is cool. Check that out. Driver, the water driver manager. Sweet sauce. Uh, let's click this. And this. Nice. Exciting. So here you have device profiles. Proprietary. That's what I'm using currently. All the FOSS people are screaming at me. Uh, production for Linux closed. Okay, this one I have installed. Oh, I can install like this one and then just switch around. Switcheroo, the old switcheroo. I like. Um, how, okay, back. How do I, how do I get that tree back on the left? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody is yeah screaming at me click that toggle click that toggle but for an idiot like me glorious if you're watching this i wouldn't probably auto hide that so uh i wonder if you have a wireless controller and then you could have different profiles with different drivers that would be neat especially if you're you know hacking away you'll need different drivers and profiles for your wireless antenna of doom where you were causing mayhem for people uh enough about that i'm not a criminal gnome version 48 uh kd version meza version nvidia Oof, that's good applause so now the games section of the video counter-strike 2 i do have the most to say about this game because i play it the most but i have not set it to a specific compatibility tool i've tried 904 I did not see an increase in FPS or performance, so I've just left it default. And Dying Lights, Metro, love the Metro games. Uh, they all are running on 904. You're not seeing any issues on my end. Let me know if you've had any issues. Uh, Repo, great family fun game, fun for the family. Uh, I run that as well on 904, I think. Yeah, runs fine. And so let's check out some of the gameplay from Counter-Strike. You might watch the gameplay right now and say, oh, the quality is horrible. Well, do you remember that I'm old school and I like to play Counter-Strike in the aspect ratio four by three and the resolution of 1280 by 960. And so that's why it looks the way that it looks. But I just wanna show you, the FPS is currently 200. I'm recording it on the same machine into OBS and it's not the greatest machine so it's it's a bit laggy but overall in Windows it's less grainy with that aspect ratio and that resolution and so in Linux for some reason I think it's optimized for uh, full HD 1920 uh, by 1080 and the correct aspect correct aspect ratio 16 by 9 and so I'm not running it like that in Counter-Strike, but I'll show you later a video from me playing it in HD and it's smoother. It's of course less grainy, but overall the FPS is smoother, the delivery, the gameplay, how smokes break. Like now I'm currently gonna break the smoke. Uh, it, it looks better. And so I wonder if the game, somebody, if somebody's watching this, maybe like Glorious, could tell me like oh yeah they've optimized it uh for full hd and so that's why it just looks better but uh currently you're watching the master the master at, at play at play uh let's jump i think i killed somebody 
right about now. But uh, overall, playing this game on Linux, I think, is amazing because just think back like five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years. This was something you could never imagine that you're going to be playing these popular games on Linux and really no issues at all. So it's, it's amazing. I, I love it. So here you're watching the game in full HD aspect ratio 16 by 9. And of course it looks better because the res is higher. But there are these minor things that you notice when you play the game. I don't know if it's going to relay to YouTube and when you're watching this on your phone, you're not going to notice. But when you're playing the game, you're going to you're going to definitely notice minor things. Um, and so I wonder if the game is more optimized in this res and this aspect ratio. But overall in Linux, I would say that there's always this feeling of something being inter interpreted and then relayed to you uh, that you don't get in Windows. And I'm only talking about in Counter-Strike. I'm not talking about the other games because I noticed every like minor nuance thing, like let's see this jiggle pick. Oh, and it's a bit crisper in Windows. I can't really put my finger on it. And maybe it's just all up here because I'm not playing the aspect ratio and the res that I'm used to. Uh, and so who knows, but I, I definitely try Counter-Strike out. It's a great game. Try it out on Linux. Uh, VAC sucks. So there's a lot of cheaters. Um, but it's it's fun, so check it out. That concludes my review of Nobara. It's a great distro. Glorious Eggroll and his team are doing a great job. So I highly recommend you check this out and try playing some of your favorite games. Until next time, thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Click, click, and subscribe, all that jazz. But until next time, the Linux Ninja says bye.